Well, here we are again this morning, folks. This is uh, the eighth day, eighth month, the 24th day of 2011, and it's 2.22 a.m. in the morning. And uh, we're very happy. We're fulfilled with sleep. We're uh, uh, not tired. We're, we're refreshed in the spirit of the Lord. And... Uh, is uh, have we we we, we uh, tried to wreck our bodies? <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, we tried to kill our bodies, but uh, uh, God has blessed, and we're back home. And for those of you in Maine, in the state of Maine, who uh, I gave in invite to this uh, PH tidbits, I appreciate it if you have come aboard. I would appreciate it if you would uh, email me if you can find out where my email is there. And I can't tell you because I'm, I'm a computer literate. And I'm just now learning how. And I'm going to today, if Lord willing, and uh, this is Wednesday, I'll take my computer to church with me tonight and have somebody help me get to my emails again and learn how to use this computer. I really do not know how to use it other than to do what I'm doing right here, right now. This is what I know how to do. Anything else? I have another website called Peter's World that is a beginning, a new beginning. I have a lot of things, literature that I've written, a lot of things that I've done that I do not know how to put on the machine. I do not know how to do anything with. We're learning. We're in the process of learning. And we're going to add to Peter's world. If you are a spiritual person and you would like to put a spiritual writing or saying in Peter's world, you are welcome to do that. And as soon as I find out how to do that and how to allow people to do that, I will allow you to do that. And so here we are, though, back. In the Word, back in Proverbs chapter 3 this morning, I told you my commission to my boys was, in my Sunday school class, to put to heart chapter 3 of Proverbs. And when they get it in there, uh, the able to quote it, then I would give them a work Bible, a study Bible, a Dake study Bible, which I say, I just now bought one, another one for myself. This is mine right here. This is the Bible I like. My wife says it's a little large, but my eyes are a little man, bad. And I'm a little old, and I don't mind carrying a large Bible. Uh, I'm not ashamed of the Lord. And uh, if I carried a Bible bigger than my body, then I would be fine. And so, anyway, I have this this Bible I can carry. There are uh, two commands and three blessings in the very first two verses. The, uh, the two uh, commands are, uh, forget not my law and keep my commandments. Those are the two commands that he says, forget not my law and he actually says here, uh, uh, let thine heart keep my law. And that one of the blessings is right here, the blessing is for length of days and for long life and for peace shall I add to thee. Length of days, long life, and peace. How do you make a day long? Do you make a day long by getting up in the morning? <laughs> Early? Does that give you a long day? Yes, it does. Gives you a long day. Does, uh, does that, uh, what makes you healthy? What makes you uh, wealthy spiritually? What makes you wise spiritually? The book, this book, makes you healthy and wealthy in the spirit and wise. Does a man need a bunch of money? No. 
needs a bunch to live on today, but that's all just the necessities. And then, but what does he need? He needs peace. He needs long-suffering, joy, temperance, meekness, kindness. And, and that's what we need. And that's what I ask God to give me. Let's look at the next two verses. In this day, the next two verses in my book right here, in the State Bible, have a heading over them. And it says there are three commands and two blessings in this one. Now, the verse one and two had two commands and three blessings. Now this one has three commands and two blessings. These are the two verses. And this is what I'm trying to teach my boys. Learn this book. Do not just read it. Look at what you're reading. What are you reading? What are you reading? You're reading a communion between you and God. This is your communion time between you and God. You pick the book up. And you're communing with the Lord of heaven. Jesus said, I was the word. And I became flesh and dwelt among you. And then I became back the word. And now he is back the word. Now we have it in our hands. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Semicolon. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Wow. Wow. Mercy, look at that. Two words. Uh, uh, let not mercy. Three words. Let not mercy forsake thee. Let not mercy forsake thee. And truth. And truth. Mercy and truth go together. Bind them about thy neck. He's commanding us to bind mercy and truth about thy neck. And that starts with the head. That's talking about cut the rest of your body off from the world and put mercy and truth in your head. And there's a good possibility you'll cut your ears off from the world. You'll cut your eyes off from the world. You'll cut your worldly desire off. Write them, he said. I write them upon the table of thy heart. We have a table in our heart. You know where our heart really is, don't you? Our heart is in the center of our brain right here. It's called the frontal lobe. And it is the thing that contains the heart of man. It's where his real thinking goes on. Who he really is. Who is he? Who is really? Who is a man when he looks at himself in the mirror? Is he a godly man or is he a man that follows the devil? He, he, the man himself can tell you that. He knows that. Each man knows who his heart's desire is to be. Hey, we need compassion today. We need mercy today. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. You shall find favor. And, look at this. You're going to find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Good understanding. Jesus said, they don't like me, they're not going to like you. But I can tell you this, if you've bound honesty and truth in your heart, and you've wrote them on the table of your heart, and you really mean what you say and say what you mean, you will find favor, even today, amongst the heathen. I have had people no, I don't know if I'm going to heaven. But I thank you for being interested, whether I am or not. Go down to the gas pumps, which right now I'd love to be down at the gas pumps, a mile or two from right here, passing out some tracks this time of day. 
This is a good time of day. 